The ultimate goal of your recovery process is to regain your independence. Maintaining your skin health is a key part of achieving this goal. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. It has many functions, such as protecting you from infection and regulating body temperature. After a spinal cord injury, your skin is much more susceptible to damage and breakdown due to loss of sensation, decreased muscle mass, altered blood circulation, and pressure, particularly over bony prominences such as your buttocks, elbows, and heels. Special care must be taken to protect your skin because skin breakdown, also known as a pressure sore or ulcer, is a very serious condition for people with spinal cord injuries. When you remain seated or lying in the same position for a long time, pressure is exerted against that part of your body. A pressure sore forms when the pressure is maintained beyond the tolerance threshold. The weight of the body compresses fine blood vessels and tissue between the bone and hard surface. When this blood supply is cut off, the skin is deprived of oxygen and other nutrients, and the cells and tissue start to die. This can eventually penetrate to the muscles and extend all the way to the bone. A pressure sore first appears in the form of redness or a blister on the surface of the skin, but deep tissue may be affected long before the wound is visible. Fat and muscle tissue die faster than skin tissue, and by the time a sore erupts on the surface of the skin, the underlying tissue may already be severely damaged. Dead fat and muscle tissue are also very susceptible to infection, and this in turn can lead to further tissue breakdown of joints and bones. When pressure sores develop to this stage, they can be life-threatening. People with spinal cord injuries must remain vigilant in protecting their skin. You can do this by ensuring you have proper adaptive equipment like wheelchairs and specialized seating cushions. So just lean over this way as far Practicing as regular pressure That's relief it. techniques, which you will learn in your rehabilitation phase, eating healthy nutritious foods, and actually this will become your strength exercise. And asking the nurse to check your skin often. And that one looks pretty good. So make sure to keep the weight off of this one. Well, we turn to my left An easy way for you to be involved in your care from the beginning is to ask for routine turning every two hours. As you continue to recover, you will be encouraged to get up in a wheelchair for a maximum of two hours each day. Your nurse or physiotherapist will assist you with this. However, if a pressure sore is present, you will be limited to 30 to 60 minutes, or you may be required to stay in bed until the wound heals. Practicing all of these techniques can help you maintain the integrity of your skin and your independence.